This is Nico July 2023 General Mathematics Paper 2 and we are answering question number 8b and c. Question number 8b asks to find the equation of a curve which passes through the point minus 2,5 and that curve has a gradient of 6x plus x minus 3 at any point on the curve. And question number 8c, you ask to differentiate the curve y equals to 3x squared plus 4x minus 5 with respect to x. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. So what you do first, starting with the very first question, that is 8b. You ask to find the equation of the curve, but that curve has a gradient. And the gradient is now equals to this equation or this function 6x squared plus rx minus 3 and that very curve passes through this very point uh, so you remember the relationship between the, the equation of the curve and the equation of the gradient where well, you now find the, the derivative of the equation of the curve it gives you the equation of the gradient now it is the equation of the gradient that we have in the question wanted to find the equation of the curve which means uh, if we now take the reverse of the derivative which is integral of this 6x squared plus rx minus 3, it will give us the equation of the original curve. So let the equation of the original curve be y, which means y will now be equal to integral of the equation of the gradient, which is 6x squared plus rx minus 3 with respect to x. Integrating this very function term by term, give answer 2x to cubed plus 4x squared minus 3x plus c. The 2x to cubed is the integral of 6x squared. The power 2 increased by 1 and dividing 6x to cubed by 3 give answer this to 2x raised to the power 3. The integral of 8x is what gives answer 4x squared. That is the power 1 here increased by 1 and dividing 8x squared by 2 is what gives you 4x squared. The integral of a constant number 3 to be minus 3x and the plus c. So we now substitute this very point because this function y passes through this very point. So this minus 2 will now be the value of x and this 5 will now be the value of y. It will enable us to find the constant of this integration c. So substitute x by minus 2 and y by 5 in the function y. You now have. Uh, 5 instead y equals to 2 times x to cubed x is now minus 2. So 2 times open bracket minus 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 4 times the minus 2 square minus 3 times minus 2 then plus c. So simplifying this you now have 5 equals to minus 16. Minus 8 raised to the power of 3 gives you minus 8 times this 2 is what gives you minus 16. 4 times minus 2 square is 16 positive and minus 3 times minus 2 gives you positive 6 plus c. So collecting like times it will give answer c as minus 1. So the constant number c is now minus 1. So we can now write the original curve y. That is the original equation of the curve by substituting c by minus 1 in here y equals to 2x to q plus 4x square minus 3x plus c. That gives us the original function y equals to 2x to cube plus 4x square minus 3x minus 1. This is the equation of the curve. So let me just share with you how this very question is to be. How marks are distributed according to the marking scheme of this very paper. So the very first mark is the method 1 mark. And this method 1 mark is attempt to find the integral of the equation for the gradient. That gives you method 1 mark. And when you now find the integral correctly, r 2x to cubed plus 4x squared minus 3x plus c, you have this accuracy 1 mark. And the next mark is attempting to find the constant of the integration by substituting x by minus 2 and y by 5 here you now have this method one mark and when you have the constant of integration as minus one exactly that gives you this accuracy one mark and the next mark is for writing the equation of the curve that is substituting your c by minus one in here you now have this method one mark and 
when this is done correctly to get y equals to 2x the cubed plus 4x square minus 3x minus 1 as the equation of the curve you to have uh, you now have this accuracy one mark so in total this question number it is b has six good marks so let me just attempt uh, to answer this question number eight c question number eight c you asked to find it, the derivative of the curve y equals to 3x square plus 4x minus 5 with respect to x so derivative of this very curve uh, it will be nothing but uh, dy by dx uh, and that will give answer 2 times the 3x raised to the power of 2 minus 1 and the power reduces by 1 remember when you are finding the derivative this power reduces by 1 and uh, before the reduction it will now multiply the term there so you have 2 this very power 2 times uh, the term 3x raised to the power of 2 minus 1 then plus the derivative of 4x to simply be 4 derivative of minus 5 5 is a constant number it is derivative is always zero so simply find this the 2 times 3 gives answer 6 and the x raised to the power of 2 minus 1 that give power 1 so you now have 6x plus 4 this is now the derivative of this very function let me just also share with you the marking of this very question a to c in the official nickel marking scheme so the very first mark is method one mark and that method one mark is attempt to find the derivative of the function y that gives you method one mark and getting the derivative exactly equals to 6x plus 4 that gives you accuracy one mark so question number 8c has two good marks